That's no good, Hitsugi. The next student council president can't be heaving sighs in front of regular students. I'm just a vanilla member. It's not like I'm the president yet. So what's the big deal? And it's not like you're a regular student, are you? Vice president to be, Kori Washinomiya. Don't call me that. <laughs> I'm just a vanilla member, too. Honestly, you should be the president instead, Kori. I'm not cut out for that. It's gotta be you. The whole student council thinks you'd be best. Everyone. Besides, they're all members of the Mother Corps, so it's practically rigged. <sighs> Always a storm cloud, never a silver lining with you. Even if it is rigged, who cares? Only people chosen by Mother Corps itself can even participate in it. Hitsugi, was that sigh because you don't want to be president? If you hate the idea that much, I could become president instead. But I'd want your support. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just... Hmm. Oh yeah, what were you doing yesterday? I didn't see you on PSO2 at all. PSO2? Kitsugi? Hey, Cory, give me your take on PSO2. My take? As in... Just tell me what you know about it. Uh, sure. PSO2 is an online game whose popularity spread like wildfire after ultra-fast ether communication went mainstream. Ether communication made the next generation cloud type OS ESCA a reality. PSO2 is standard software installed in ESCA, and Ether communication allows anyone to play it together. I'm not asking for PSO2 101. I'm asking what you've noticed about us in particular. Us? What everyone in Mother Corps thinks about the game. I get you now. As I just said, it's a game that anyone can play, with anyone, at any time, via the Ether infrastructure. The purpose of Mother Corps is to maintain Eska OS and keep it bug free. And thus, the thousand plus members Mother scouted for the Corps work to maintain Eska on a daily basis. Yeah? Right. And those bugs in ESCA seem to be intrinsic in PSO2, since it's a standard install in ESCA. There's a lot of weird phenomena, like baffling NPC behavior that can't possibly be AI. We Mother Corps members hop on the ether, investigate inside PSO2, and compile data on it. Data is collected without us, but naturally, there's a lot we wouldn't know if we didn't get in there ourselves. To sum it all up, we're aware that PSO2 is a game. And we think it can be buggy at times. Uh, yeah, that's right. Mother said it was probably because of bugs in Eska itself. Kitsugi? Everything okay? Did I say something stupid? Sorry, I don't get what you're trying to say. Hori. Hey, yes! I know it's hard for you to deal with guys, but can you maybe 
really power through to meet someone real quick? Uh, Guy? Is it your big brother? Nope. It's not Enga? Wait, don't tell me this guy is your... No way, wow! It's Suki! A secret relationship? You can't do that! If you become student council president, people will never stop gossiping about you! It's not like that! And even if it were, why would I introduce you to him? I was right? No, just forget about that! <sighs> okay, so... The guy I want you to meet is neither my older brother, nor a boyfriend. Then who? Who? It's... Uh, my... younger brother? Hey, what? Suki keeps some interesting company. <laughs> Apart from that, she said a few things of note. So, over there, they have communication technology called Ether. There's an organization called Mother Corps. And they think the people of this world are bugs. The more I listen, the less I understand. We'll have to do more follow-up investigating. maximum testosterone threshold for you? So where did you find this little fella? Listen and don't laugh, got it? From PSO2. I know it's a lot to take in so suddenly, but I swear I'm not lying. When you think about the entire situation, nothing else makes sense. I believe you. When have I ever doubted you? But if this is true, I wonder if there's a cutie out there waiting for me to bring him home too. This is a serious conversation. Is messing. But something must have happened to make you think that you brought Al here from PSO2, right? If you look back at the chain of events, you might be able to think of something. Even so, everything that happened yesterday was all so unexpected, and I can't even wager a guess as to what caused it. Do you remember anything? Hmm... Well... Okay... If we could just talk with some of the other people involved in all this... Maybe we could figure something out. 
the only other person involved is... I don't even think I can explain who they are. I want someone to tell me who they are. Huh? Oh, I forgot to ask. Why is he wearing all that? Uh, it's, um, the only thing he can really wear at the moment. We're dealing with a lot of unknowns here, but I know for sure there's one thing we can do. Pal, you are in dire need of a costume change. to determine whether he came from this world or that world. I think we'd figure something out if we met him in person, but we can't have him coming here. Oh, how frustrating. something I want to wear your kind of clothes yeah no yeah, yes! don't encourage him you stay in that it looks good on you okay fine you did pick it out for me after all I'm not the one who picked that outfit for you it was Corey who did you know you really have a good sense for these sorts of things, Cory. I didn't do anything special. All I did was look it up on the ether. Just toss in your deets and... Bam! All it needs is your height, age, and budget. And it'll figure out everything for you. It's made by the YMT Corporation, which is all the rage right now. They even have a trendsetter app. Cool, huh? They have stuff like that? Wow! If only you had a smidgen of interest in stuff like this. Heck, I picked out your clothes too! I'm not gonna lose sleep over what clothes to wear. I'd rather buy books any day. <sighs> You're the worst, Hitsugi. You need to get the most out of your youth. Food, games, fashion? Oh, now you're playing the youth card? What's this? 
It's an ether app. This is what I use to pick out your clothes and peruse the shop. And? Whoa, cool! I'm on that small screen. I'm moving. You don't even need to try clothes on if you have this app. You can rotate yourself in every direction, too. Neat, huh? What's this... your favorite looks... thing? Oh, that! I have the same kind of clothes as sis now. I like this better. Jeez. At any rate, that's similar to PSO2's character creation screen. Right, exactly. PSO2's been around since ether communication became a thing, so maybe they based it off of that. Sis, I'm hungry. Oh, now that you mention it, it's about that time. Let's grab something. <laughs> Leave it to me. This device has us covered on the grub front, too. Man, that thing, uh, ether, rather, is like crack for you. No way. I'm nothing compared to others. Really, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say people are all ether addicts these days. Oh, well. Society wouldn't collapse without the ether, so... Hmm. All right. And while you've been talking, I found a place that serves lunch. I even made a reservation. That world has low-tech manufacturing technology, but awfully high-tech communication technology. Its communication speed and infrastructure are on the same level as ARCs. It all seems a little... distorted. Like, unnatural, or abnormally evolved. Somewhat artificial, even. Still, I'll get it. Kitsugi, I got a little bit around my mouth, too. <laughs> a little help? Huh. Here you go. Our society is all about convenience. Everything from picking the cafe to reserving seats to ordering lunch was all taken care of. You should seriously get one, too. It's insanely convenient. You can use it for stuff other than games. I can't keep my hands off of it. I like to relax in my room and play on my PC free from prying eyes, thanks. 
you gotta get with the times. This makes life easier, and a lot of exclusive apps have been developed for it. The apps YMT makes are particularly comprehensive and so easy to use. The apps I used for this cafe and the clothing one I showed you earlier are both from YMT. And I heard that its president graduated from our school. Why do you know so much about it? You're completely out of touch, Hitsuki. Seriously, everyone's been talking about it lately. Speak of the devil! There he is right now on that talk show! I see. He's a geek 
heck is he? Have you ever found yourself quite that obsessed with anything before? Even if you don't mean it. <laughs> but, 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 and I mean, I know I'm the one who asked, but you really shouldn't be so upfront about these things. Me, I'm obsessed with my duties overseeing everyone. You might call me a control freak. <laughs> huh? That's not a good thing? Anyway. All we did was go shopping and take a bath. <laughs> and I'm already exhausted. Hal, is the futon okay? You got your pillow? Yeah, it's fine, sis. Okay then, I'm turning off the light. Hmm. <sighs> Feels like it's been forever since I've gotten to rest and take it easy like this. Off to slumberland, where I won't have to think or worry about anything. Oh! Ow! What's wrong? Your futon's over there. Wait. Oh, Al. Are you shaking? <laughs> Sorry, sis. I'm afraid of the dark. It feels like I'm gonna be taken somewhere. Like I'm gonna be sucked up by something. Like I'm going back to what I was before I met you. I'm afraid to leave you. Hal. Come here, Hal. You... you sure? I'm your big sister, right? I can't just let my brother be alone and afraid. So, come on. Okay. Thanks, sis. understand how Al feels. I really... You feel so safe and secure when you're with someone else. I've been manning the bridge by myself all this time, so I can relate. It gets lonely. But lately, you're always coming to see me, so I'm not lonely at all. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you still looking at photos from when we all went shopping? Is this your latest creepy hobby now? What? No! This is a totally and completely normal reaction to finding something cute. Speaking of which, you eat and sleep together in the same room with that little cutie pie, don't you, Hitsugi? I'm so jealous! What all do you guys do? Hugging contests? Pillow fights? Tickle wars? <laughs> you know, if nothing else, having Al around sure has given me a better look at what sort of person you really are, Cory. But what are you going to do about him? Is it okay for non-students to stay in the school dorm like this? Well, for now, I'm just hoping the whole little brother bit will get us through spring break. Uh, right! The wolves let school relatives stay overnight, huh? The problem is whether we even look related. But I can use my student council status or Mother Corps authority to cover things up if need be. <laughs> Some of that good motherly love! Aww, he's so cute, I'm gonna friggin' explode! It's like the Hitsugi from PSO2 is here to hang out with me for real! You do realize the absurdity of what you just said, right? Whatever, though. Come on now, Cory. You can fawn over your photo gallery later. Right now, it's time for PSO2 research. Of course, I'm working on that. But I think it's probably the same stuff as the data that you've already gathered. The data transmission particle Ether was discovered 12 years ago in 2016. It allows for immediate, uninhibited data transmission. Its discovery and the infrastructure built around it brought about a techno-revolution, reshaping the entire world to Ether standards. The person who discovered it went on to create the next-generation cloud OS, ESCA, and nations around the globe constructed ESCA towers. With these towers built, Ether communication and the ESCA OS made for it spread everywhere, standardizing the world's IT environments. ESCA comes with standard pre-installed apps used for deploying and controlling Ether, one of those apps being PSO2. It's an introductory app, built like a game, to give the youth a true feel for the convenience and data transmission speed Ether provides. That's the official story, at least. But Ether technology is still under development. Mother told us there are plenty of bugs still working in ESCA. That's why people like us, chosen from the ranks to join Mother Corps, enter the Ether infrastructure and PSO2 to investigate. That's something only we can do. We Mother Core members are the only ones who can physically enter PSO2. That's the real inside story. But your average schmuck off the street has no idea. Hmm. We've got nothing new here. Is there no one else out there who's been through this? No, I think you're probably the first person who ever pulled someone straight out of the world of PSO2, Hitsugi. But the fact that this could even happen must mean there are weird bugs lurking around the system, just like Mother said. We can't say for sure whether any of this is even due to a bug in the first place, though. Hey, wait! I might have something here. It was like an NPC had jumped straight out of the game. Aww, this is just about cosplay. Here's a story about the PSO2 player who disappeared recently, but I don't think it's related.
Oh, hey! You know what? I think I have an idea to get this all squared away in a snap for us. Huh? We should try asking Mother! Mother knows everything. Duh, it's so obvious! Why didn't we notice such an easy solution before, I wonder? Hang on! I'll try contacting her now. Uh, wait! Why? What's wrong? Why are you stopping me? Mother will definitely know what to do. Mother is the one who asked us to investigate in PSO2 in the first place. So, isn't keeping her updated the right thing to do? Of course it is! But... Can we just... wait a little longer? I want to send Mother a proper report. I want to look really deep into both Al and PSO2 on my own, and then report in what I find. I'll report in by the end of spring break, so just hold off for now, okay? Sure, if you say so. I trust you, so if that's what you think is best, then it's fine by me. But listen, if we really get stuck, we should go talk with Mother, okay? Mother will definitely help us for sure. Of course. PSO2 is a game that comes pre-installed in ESCA, the next-gen cloud OS. People who exist in it perform elaborate actions that we wouldn't expect from AI. A few chosen ones among us, the members of Mother Court, enter the ether to investigate what is going on in this game world. We do so because these peculiarities could be bugs, and any bugs could threaten all of Eska if ignored. Do so because Mother told us to. If I don't go through with this on my own, I'll never see, never know, never understand the truth. I guess I'm just gonna have to get back in there. something similar before, right? Something about our world being inside some game, and how it was full of bugs and such. Hitsuki and Cory are probably both unaware of the fact that they've arrived in another world. The data is cut and dry. Clear as day. But those girls are still being deceived just the same. That speaks worlds to how much weight the word of this so-called mother carries. I guess if we wanted to make comparisons, perhaps she's something like our old Chion. But more importantly, didn't Hitsugi say something about coming here one more time? Yikes, that's not good. We need to get ready. Now listen. We can't breathe a word about any of this peeping we've been up to. Got it?
All right. Here goes. I guess. Nice! I made it in just fine. And there isn't anything wrong with my avid. Wait! What? But how? How am I still just normal me? Hang on. Where the heck is the avatar I started with? The one I made back in my first PSO2 days. The one that looks like Al. Wait a minute. Did Al take that whole entire avatar with him? No, but that still doesn't explain why I'm just me now. Shouldn't I at least get a warning? Huh? Is that you, Hitsuki? Oh, Cory, What's up? Why the new avatar? I've never seen one that looks so much like you. When did they add an outfit like that? Uh, well, this is just... Uh, Hitsuki? <gasps> oh, is that... Sierra, was it? The one and only. It's good to see you're all right. Do you perhaps have a little time to chat? We've also got our friend here with us. Sure. I have things I wanted to ask you, too. Sorry, Cory. Looks like a little something came up. I'll catch you later. Oh, okay. I should say it's thanks to you. You aren't all that surprised that I'm here, are you? It's almost as if you knew I'd show up. D don't be silly. Anyway, are you sure you're really okay? We were worried you might get attacked by phantasms again or something. <laughs> you were worried? About me? Although it was only for a short time, you're still a comrade who fought alongside us. We confirmed you were safe, but we couldn't just go see for ourselves. So seeing you here now does a lot to put us at ease. Now then, Hitsugi, you had something you wanted to ask, right? As your humble servant, Sierra, I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Okay then, let's just get right to it. Are you all just bugs or... Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Uh... Hmm... Uh... I'm not sure how to word this, really. Are you... Human? I mean, look at you. Of course you are. Where are you from? Though, I guess you're just from here, huh? <sighs> I can't even get my head wrapped around all the things I want to ask you! Perhaps you want to ask about the boy, Al, who's with you. Yes, that too! But... Wait, how did you know I named him Al? I guess it's not really important, but yeah, who is Al? What is he? Is he even human? Is he... or what? 
Is something else going on here? Unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that. We don't have nearly enough information to make an educated guess, either. You're kidding me. Me? W what do I think? Hell's just a bug. A bug like everything and everyone else here. Mother has said much herself, so it's got to be true, but... Maybe... Mother was wrong? Sorry. I guess I really don't have everything sorted out in my head just yet. I think I need more time to mull things over a bit. I sh Sure! But you're welcome back any time, you know. Yeah, thanks. To both of you. enough for today. <sighs> Things sure do get hectic for the student council around the start of the school year, huh? And dorm residents like us really get the short end of the stick with all the crazy stuff dropped on us. But I guess looking on the bright side, that gives us more one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> so it's not all bad. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, it's Suki. It's Suki? PSO2 is a game. Mother definitely said as much. So, does that mean everyone I've met on there isn't right? Uh, it's Suki. anyway, and you've always been there for me. So just quit your moping, okay? I don't want to see that troubled look on your face anymore. So shake it off already. Um, 
Thanks, Cory. And you know, you're probably right. I'm not built to dwell on stuff and keep it pent up like this, am I? <laughs> okay then, time for a change of pace. Let's go out somewhere tomorrow. We can take Al and just go have some fun. You bet. and Cory seem to really know and trust each other. It's lovely, really. I'm almost jealous. I wish I had someone like that in my life. Oh, but don't get me wrong. I don't feel lonely or anything like that. It just seems nice is all. something. Uh, where's that waiter? If you're looking for a drink, take these. They're on me. <laughs> and, uh, who are you? Oh, no, don't mind me. I should be the one thanking you. Oh, no, really. Having tea with lovely girls such as yourselves is just the sort of thing I draw inspiration from. A meeting like this really is a blessing. Okay, who's the weirdo? Are you a friend of yours, Cory? What? No, I don't know this creep. Telling secrets, are we girls? Best be careful. We can all hear you. But girls, I have just the thing for you. This new Telltale app my company has developed. I'm really proud of this one. It lets you chat directly with each other without the need for pesky typing. It's like telepathy in an app. It's perfect for those things you don't want anyone else to hear. I'm sure cute schoolgirls like you have plenty of stories like that. <laughs> I was hoping you could test it out and see how it works before its official release. What do you say, hmm? This guy is a super creep. Even for the usual try my app sort. He looks familiar though. Are you sure you don't know him, Cory? Hey, don't look at me! I feel like I've seen him somewhere before too, but I don't know where. You sure he's not some long lost brother of yours? My family is 100% creep free, okay? Fine, fine. I know they say siblings act a lot alike, but even you wouldn't take the creep factor to this level. 
people the second you get the chance what so you've been listening in on us this whole time so much for privacy <laughs> this app stinks i did make it you know and i'm pretty sure i told you this would be a test sheesh girls your age don't know much in the way of modesty do you not that I mind, mind you. Corey, call the cops. Just tell them some creep is harassing us and they should show up pretty quick. You really don't hold back, eh? This creep is harassing us! Oh, pipe down, would you? Honestly, it's not like anyone is going to come and help. Your call won't even get through. I've got the ether here on lockdown. Despite whatever misconceptions you seem to have, I'm actually quite famous. I keep the ether on lock to get some peace and quiet. A famous fugitive? Charged with all sorts of crimes against minors, no doubt. No, look, here's my card. Kito Anie? <laughs> President and CEO of YMT Corporation. Wait, where have I heard this name? YMT Corporation is the place that makes the app we used when we went out shopping for Al to get some clothes the other day. Hmm, bingo! YMT Corporation stands at the forefront of Ether Communications. And I, Hagito Anie, stand at YMT's helm as its prodigious CEO. All right, the military maniac guy. Well, what does a prodigious CEO like yourself want with a couple of ordinary high school girls? Ordinary girls? Hmm? What are you trying to say? Oh, no. Nothing at all. Thank you for your help, my lovely ladies. I look forward to seeing you again soon. What was with that guy? He gave me the creeps. Seriously? A regular Skivatron 5000? He was a lot like Cory. Sure was. Wow, Al, harsh! And don't you go agreeing with him, Hitsugi! Jokes aside, though, what was his deal? I honestly have no idea. One thing I do know, though, is that free drinks always taste best. Again, something is definitely off with their technology. Their communications network and the software on it are comparable to our own. But their hardware still seems generations behind. It's bizarre, if not simply disconcerting. I get the feeling that there's a lot more to this ether than meets the eye. Like 